In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model uh, this type of stairs in Rhino. Uh, I'll be showing you the techniques to actually create this kind of uh, transition effects and uh, to implement all of this composition into the uh, into the project. So let's uh, let's start. First thing, I'm going to actually draw a reference uh, rectangle. And now I'm going to uh, use the spline plane on it, just for the reference. Uh, now let's let's go to the wireframe mode, and let's extrude these edges a little bit, and also these guys here. We do this on all four sides because we want to have clean geometry once we use the option remove creases here. And now when we delete when we delete these side extrusions we just did, we will not have filleted corners, like so. And now let's uh, let's add a little bit more uh, edges here. So the ones we need is we need more here. So let's add one more edge here and one more edge here. We'll also add additional edge on this side. So now let's move these guys here. In the middle and let's start with moving this vertices here so we need additional edge on this side because we need to create this smooth effect here and one more here and let's bring this guy down Actually, all of these need to be in the same level. So I'm gonna e exit this plane and I'm gonna use set points to put them on the same axis. And let's measure to see if this is okay distance. Yeah, it can be a little bit more. Okay. Now let's move these guys down. Okay, I think this is enough. Let's just move them a little bit more here. Okay. And we can bring this one even more down. Just for the sake of it. Okay, and we want to actually move these guys a little bit inside to have smooth transition effect here on the top. And now I'm just gonna move this a little bit further here to have a nice transition. And I think this is okay. Let's just bring this one a little bit more down. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's say that this is good enough for now. And let's uh, now let's convert this to Rhino geometry and let's add some reference lines here. Let me see. Okay. I'll show you why we're using this plane later. Now let's intersect these two to get the line. And now let's add more of these intersection lines. Uh, this will be some of the initial steps. And let's copy this a lot of times. So 
so until link is fine okay and then let's add another curve here on the top I'll show you why we need this curve now uh, let me just modify it a little bit so we want this to be straight Maybe this a little bit inside. Okay, something like this. So this curve is actually the reference curve of, of the points of this uh, of this intersections here on the top. So we won't have these smooth curves here because we'll use it later to connect it with these parts. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. Now let's just set it here. And let's check the scene 3D if it looks all right. Okay, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, now let's intersect this as well. And delete these guys. Uh, now let's uh, actually split surface with these with these curves and uh, let's also split it first I'm gonna duplicate this edge because I will need it I'm just gonna lower it down a little bit here and uh, we want also to use these to actually mark uh, and split these areas. So let's extrude it. Okay, now let's split these guys. With these planes. And once that splitting is done, we can hide this guy for now can also hide this for now and uh, let's go here and let's draw our initial geometry here I'm gonna go straight here I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna do this for all the rest <laughs> Okay, so once we have these lines, let's unhide everything. We don't need these guys anymore. And uh, now let's actually extend this, extrude it until here. And now we can delete these external surfaces. Let's go here from the top, like so, and let's unhide these guys. So now, now comes the, the fun part. You will see now how these transitions are made. So now uh, comes the fun part, and I'm going to show you how to actually uh, create this effect of this transition, this here. So we actually want to use the command, it's called blend curve. And what it does, it connects two curves uh, and makes the smooth uh, curve in between them. And we're gonna, we want to, you to make this for all of these guys here. And then once, for example, once we have this too, we need to create the surface in, from this area. The best way to do this is to use sweep too. 
we select these two chain edges and two cross section curves and this is one one side then we go again with blend curve and we use this guy and this guy here to this transition curve say so, okay let's do one more here like so let's do sweep two this guy this guy this guy and this guy and let's do one more and then i'll speed up the video so blend curve select this one and this one and one more time and sweep two so get the idea uh, so now I'm just gonna do this for all of them. And let's just cap these holes. Uh, we can do this by using uh, also sweep two. And once this is ready, uh, we're going to continue uh, on modeling the rest. I'm just gonna speed this up now. <laughs> Okay, once we finish the fillets, uh, we're pretty, pre pretty much done with this area here. And what we can do is actually uh, join everything. And then let's, uh, let's extrude this on the bottom. Like so. And then for example, let's cut the plane somewhere around here. And I'm just gonna model this top element here. So it's something like this. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, do a little bit of detailing on this on this uh, facade, and I'm gonna insert some glass here, uh, do the render, and then show you the final result. Here is the final rendering. Hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.